They gonna love me for my ambition. Well, Benzino has gone viral. Benzino and Eminem have been beefing for decades. For those who don't remember, it stems all the way back when Benzino was the head of the Source magazine, a legendary era in music. When they would drop a magazine, they'll give five mic rating. If your album got five mics, it was a 10 out of 10. Eminem was one of the people that got like a lower rating. He would take that type of stuff personal to the point that him and Benzino back then were dissing each other in music because Benzino was a rapper and still is not as much as before. But Benzino went to the point of literally paying people for tapes. Back then it was tapes, actual physical tapes of footage of Eminem saying the N-word. And he was trying to like basically ruin Eminem's career, like going hard. So ever since then, it's been a personal beef between them. Recently, Eminem, we spoke about it again. I think he should retire from music. Um, and congratulations to Eminem. Again, I'm like a prophet. I'm like predicting shit. I predicted the country shit, right, with Drake and Morgan Wallen. We got the country Beyonce. Now we got a country uh, uh, Post Malone's dropping a country album too this year, confirmed. So the country's away this year. You're going to see it. I also was a prophet when it comes to uh, Eminem. What I say, he should do mu uh, movies and stuff more, right? We have confirmed Eminem, Stan, a new uh, docu-series by Eminem about what we're talking about right now. Dick riding, the fans, and society, social media. It's a perfect nigga. Cause and it's... Eminem's the, the original guy. He, cre he created the word. It's in yeah. the dictionary because of him. Stan. So that's dropping this year, Stan. Because this fan's a fucking dick he does. Right? So then on top of that, so he... It's always have been. I think that's his route. I told you, the wave is dick riding. Leave from music, right? But in the music that he did drop recently, he responded to Benzino. Benzino responded. He dropped one song. It was like Vulturous, some shit like that. I didn't love it. I'm like, oh, it's just like the the production is kind of off. But his second song, Rap Elvis, was actually hard. It was actually hard. And people were debating, is Benzino the first rapper in years to drop an actual good diss track against Eminem? And it's debatable. The only thing is that Eminem didn't do a diss track. He just did his line during the Cole Bennett song against Benzino and the Coyle Ray sub. Um, but nonetheless, Benzino has been interviewed now about the Eminem situation on Drink Champs. I recommend you guys go watch his uh, two and a half hour long interview. I watched it twice. The shit's insane <coughs> because he spirals and gets drunker and drunker. And here's the clip. You guys can hear it. I don't got nothing against Eminem. I got nothing against Eminem. Eminem can rap. But I care about us more. I don't want to go through. I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to... For 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. <laughs> the fuck you want me to do? Come on, man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I got to be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. You think this shit is fucking cool? <laughs> no, nah, man. Ooh, we're failing as a people. <laughs> I don't hate oh, Eminem. He, I don't like, know him to hate him. I don't hate white people. I'm tired of this shit, man. It's just too much. I don't want to be the bad guy. I got an eight-year-old son that I dropped off at school this morning. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm all right. I don't want my DMs filled with... I've had nine pages knocked down a million. White people think... Stands. I love, Stands all, I love all people. I love all people. Come on, man. All me and Eminem got to do is sit down and talk with each other. Let's sit down and talk. Let's battle. Let's do whatever. But let's at least face-to-face -face meet each other. If, if that was to happen, would you give him a five? Fuck it, man. I'd hug him. <laughs> I don't got nothing to get. Clap, but then it came off awkward. That shit was terrible, bro. But, um, yeah, man. There's truth in what he's saying as far as, like, you know, it's gone too far, et cetera. But Benzino played into it. You know, Benzino, he has, to, he has to take ownership into the, his faults as well. Um, but this time around, yes, you know, Eminem was the one that started the beef up again, especially this year. Again, bringing him up in a new song. And then Benzino dropped two songs. And now Benzino's being interviewed about him. But it's... um. It goes to show you, if you do your hip-hop research, you know, Benzino is to be respected when it comes... He, he, he basically invented the hip-hop awards. The Source Awards, Source awards were the first hip-hop awards um, that, that existed and revolutionized everything. Now what we have, even though hip-hop awards, in my opinion, today nowadays suck, 
Uh, they could be better, especially with the BT one. They try. But, you know, he's a part of hip-hop history, so he's done a lot of impact. So I think that's why Eminem respects him, though. Because if Eminem didn't really didn't give a fuck about him, Eminem wouldn't mention him. At all. At all. Like, Eminem ra keeps rapping about him. My thing is, this is where I've been doing what pisses me off. Don't bring up the race. Because that's kind of a disqualifier in his head. It's like, oh, we're supposed to stick together and you're taking this white nigga side? This isn't some white nigga. This is arguably... One of the greatest rappers who ever live. The ultimate white nigga. The ultimate white nigga who was founded <laughs> by one of probably top three greatest producers of all time, who then joined top five greatest rap groups to ever. No, did yeah. he join G Unit? Or was he just no, 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 he used to just rap with him though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a he used to like religiously rap with one of the greatest rap groups yeah. of all time. Best friends with fucking 50 Cent. Like, no, bro. Like, bro, stop, stop, stop. This is not some random white nigga. This isn't logic. Sorry for the logic stray. <laughs> but it is it isn't logic, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not like that. It's not like some white dude who didn't play a role. No. Eminem is hip hop. I'm sorry. He is black culture. Whether you want to admit it or not, he is. Stop disrespecting him. Yeah, I think his issue comes with like the fucking um, the stands and stuff. But he has to deal with that. He has to. You got to deal with it. You know, they've killed us in the past when we said anything about Eminem. That's not towards their liking. But bro, you can't please everyone. Stands are gonna be stands. Fans are gonna be fans. They're gonna think what they're gonna think. They're gonna say what they're gonna say. But to have nine pages taken down is crazy. 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 You know how many times they must be reporting this nigga all the time. <laughs> They really hate him, bro. But you, at that point, hit up and be like, tell him to stop. <laughs> yeah, 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 please. Not for nothing. I would love to see him and Eminem sit down. You know, I think that would be interesting. You know, I wonder how Eminem's going to respond to this. I have a, I feel like Eminem, he might just rap again. You think so? He might just rap, do another song, and he's going he, he's gonna, he's he's gonna, to sample he's this gonna, shit. bro, because it comes him out crying. Weird, bro. How, how, how in the beginning of the fucking thing you're saying, fuck Eminem, fuck Eminem, fuck Eminem, and then, and then you end crying. up crying. Yeah, because the, the liquid courage revealed the truth. And M is a real nigga. Like, he's like a real Detroit broke boy. Like, he grew up in the gutters. He will really, like, tear this thing apart for fun. The diss track that he did, though, was good, though. You guys got to hear it. Rap Elvis? That shit was Who, hard. Benzino? Benzino's diss track was hard, bro. I don't... Let's keep going. I'm just wondering. I'll play some of it. I'll play some of it because I, I think it won't get copyrighted. I think he's um independent. Listen. Listen, me and Benzino. I'm telling you, this guy can gonna put some respect on Benzino's name, it's nigga. Real hard. Rap Elvis. That's that shit's better than the Cole Bennett song. That's cool, but if Corey doesn't exist, we don't give a fuck who Benzino is, so he has to stop. And Corey doesn't. I don't think so. Yeah, without a doubt, bro. Let's be right now. Right now, you're gonna care about Benzino if Corey Lay doesn't blow yeah. up. But that's me. I'm I'm a rare breed, like not a rare breed, but. I study like I knew who Benzino was before. Bro, Benzino, talking Benzino about ben as in a consumer, no, no one cares about Benzino if there's no Corey Lay. I don't know because till this, bro, that was like a, a eureka moment when the industry when it happened. When people were like, Benzino, Corey Lay, that's your daughter. Like they've always bring that up all the time. So like people knew who Benzino was. My people thing, knew. My thing is, and if you're an Eminem fan, you definitely knew yeah, because no, that course. shit stems before of we were course. born. Yeah, 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 of course. My thing is, bro, like. When it comes to this Benzino shit, bro, it's like, bro, you can't call people out if your daughter is calling you out and you're not even acknowledging what she's saying about you. You're saying mm -hmm. she's lying. You're jacking her. She's full of shit. Like, he's such a messy nigga. Oh, yeah, they, they have a, they have a uh, back and forth relationship. Yeah, it's messy. It's problematic. Like, as a father, as a man, that's my priority, not Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go on a track and you diss an Eminem for not supporting the culture, not being out the culture. What did you introduce to the culture? Obviously, you have your historical Nigga, things. the magazines. And that's perfect. But what are you doing right now? Yeah, not much. Your, your representation in the culture is a deadbeat father. <laughs> what, like, what are we doing? Bro, like, yo, I hate when niggas throw <laughs> fucking stones from glass houses, bro. Like, you, you giving, giving Eminem too much fuel. We got to move on. They going to love me for my ambition.